into like some freshly baked pie. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Allie and welcome to my channel. I feel like it has been quite a while since I've done some thrifting content and I really enjoyed my last Thrifts With Me video, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing here today. Now I'm already sitting here surrounded by all of my thrift finds that I got on this trip, but I do want to take you along shopping with me so you can see what I saw, kind of have a little bit of fun with me because I promise there are some pretty funny moments throughout and also just kind of see how I decide what I want to put in my own space. Now, without further ado, let's go thrifting. In a situation where I'm trying to thrift for a specific room, I like to come up with a game plan. So this is the list of different items that I want to try to find while I'm out thrifting today. Any seasoned thrifter knows that in order to have a successful thrift trip, you need to be fueled and ready to go. So that means, of course, a good meal. So I made sure that we stopped and we got breakfast first. And also the most important ingredient, coffee. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I first get a venti iced coffee, also a um, grande iced brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Starting route to Goodwill. I know that you're trying to fix me, but I don't want to be like you. If you want to take it back to the 50s, maybe I'm not the guy for you. We've made it to our first stop, which is a little Goodwill that I actually have a lot of luck in sometimes. So I have my fingers crossed for this one. So let's get in. You know that's true. Have you thought it through? Because you love to tell me. Say no, I'm not like you, I don't think that you get it You should go, go and get out, I'll make you regret it ah, ah, ah. Someone like you should worry about, maybe you choose Oh <laughs> oh. That's interesting It's an old radio cabinet I wanna put on a smile, everybody expects me to so you can keep your suit and your tie I gotta hope that it strangles you Yeah, I do Your price and you don't need to impress the ones you hate That's so up Cause everything you own <laughs> Oh no If I've ever seen anything that describes me the best, it has to be this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd say that's pretty successful. It's a mess in here. to destination number two we're gonna check out another goodwill right here the first one i had a little bit of luck i know that this one's a little bit of a bigger goodwill so i hope there are some good things however i noticed as i was pulling in it's very very crowded so let's check this one out
last stop of the day is not a thrift store, but an antique store. Now, I've been in this one once, and I'm very new to antiquing. However, I do think I might find some more nicer pieces that kind of fit into my decor scheme. It is a little bit more expensive to shop at an antique store versus a thrift store, but you do find such cooler, better pieces, and I'm really excited to check this one out. I'm back from the thrift store and I hope you enjoyed coming along with me, kind of getting an idea of just what the experience of thrifting looks like for me and how I came across some of the finds that I'm about to show you. Now I will say that this was not one of my most successful thrift trips item wise. I did find some interesting items, but nothing that I really wanted to bring home with me. But I did go in, of course, like I mentioned in the beginning with that very specific curated list of things that I wanted to pick up look for because I'm trying to style my living room here. I think that is kind of what helped me curate and tailor down all of my purchases. So I do want to go through a couple of the things that I did pick up because why not? I did get a handful of things. I'll start with the very first item that I picked out during the first thrift store visit and that is this basket. I picked up this basket for $1.99. I thought that was a very good price since it has a nice wood base and then this really nice wicker top as well. Now, I don't really like this as is. I had a vision instead to remove the handle and then do something to this unfinished wicker that is around the basket here. I was thinking maybe make it a little darker. So this is definitely gonna be a quick, easy thrift flip that I think will be fun to tackle. Now, one of the big things that I went into the thrift store looking for very specifically were frames. And I actually got super lucky with frames this time. I'm gonna break these down into a couple separate categories. First up, I have my more, I guess, simple frames right here. I wanted this nice little small one. I almost didn't go home with it, but for 99 cents, I really liked the nice wood detail around the edges. I thought it was a nice, simple, warm, brown toned frame. I guess this one isn't like the most extremely simple, but I did like this basic gold frame. It was just a Walmart frame, apparently for $3 originally, which ironically, they charged me $5 for it. So I can't believe I didn't realize that at the thrift store. I've, it kind of feels like I was definitely ripped off if Walmart only wanted $3 for this whenever this was made and sold. Um, okay. Well, I still think it's a really nice and pretty frame for a gallery wall or some sort of styling. And then I also picked up this big frame right here for $3.99. So I don't know why this one was cheaper for being so large and so pretty. I do like the gold around the frame. However, I might switch to black. I'm not sure yet, but I did like the nice matte that was on the inside. This was a nice high quality frame and even the back of it was very, very nice with how the back and the image both folded into place. Now we're onto the frames that I was most excited to find at the thrift store. This first one I'm about to show you is actually gonna be more of a DIY project. For $2.99, I picked up this five by seven frame. I really liked the ornate corners. I think that it's a very pretty frame structurally. However, the colors, very ugly also, this picture of the little girl kind of creeps me out. Um, I don't know why, but I don't like it. My second favorite frame find of the day is this one right here. It is a simple, looks like four by six frame, but the beauty of the, like, the frame itself, it's so heavy. It's got some great weight to it. I love the brown with a little bit of the gold. 
this I don't want to even do anything to there is a little bit of like a mark on the edge but I'm not really gonna care I mean $1.99 I could not pass this one up and it's beautiful it even has the nice velvet backing so this is just a high quality frame that I'm very excited to use in a gallery wall because I think it just needs that kind of feature it's just such a good frame I promise you we are almost done with the frames I have one left and this one might be my favorite it is this gorgeous large frame right here that I got for $3.99. I mean, this thing is just perfect. It holds an eight by 10 photo. It has a nice mat with a lovely ornate detail, though I do see that it's kind of falling apart. So I will likely do away with that part, but the frame itself has just such a nice detail and ornateness to it. I love this frame and I cannot wait to DIY this and make it much more of my own style because the silver is definitely not it for me but I know that we can antique this in an upcoming video. Now I think at my second thrift store of the day I believe I didn't have the best luck. I was walking around all the aisles and normally I really like this thrift store that I went to. It's big, it's usually pretty busy and I gave up on shopping around this store. I even said it in the clip right here. But as I was walking out, I came across these beautiful ceramics on one of the carts, the ones that they roll out so they can stock the store, but people dig through them anyway. So these are some handmade ceramic pieces. This one, I love the brown tones, the little lid, the cute little handles. I just, it has a touch of green, a touch of blue. It's gonna fit so well in my living room if I find a really good place for it. So I loved this piece. And because it is a really nice hefty ceramic, I was willing to pay a little bit more for it. I paid $7.99 for this one right here, but it's just so cute. I also wanted to pick up this one too. Must be a, by the same artist. It is signed on the bottom right here, $7.99. This one definitely had a lid at some point too. It is missing, I could not find it, but I loved the blue on this one and the really cute handles. And I figured this would just also be a really nice piece to have, to style somewhere, to use as a catch-all dish. So I was very happy to find these one-of-a-kind originals. And now I also did go to an antique store, which is something that I'm very, very new to, but I have a lot of fun when I get to go into one. I wanted a very just large jug or vase or something like that, that I could use either as a vase or just as a styling piece. And I've seen people use them in their current decor, like transitional style decor or that modern rustic look. And I came across this one, which is right here. It's an old crock and I believe I paid $16 for it. Now walking around the store, I found tons of different ones of these. Chose this one because one, the price was the cheapest one I found. I liked the color. I liked the size of it. The only reason why it was cheaper is it does have a very big crack up through the side and on the bottom. But since I have no plans to use this functionally, more just decoratively, I think the crack kind of adds some character and it adds a bit to the story of this piece. And I think that's what makes antique shopping and the rip shopping so wonderful is that you can find pieces that you would never find anywhere else. They're so unique, they're unique to you, and there's a story about them. There's just something that when you look at them, you can think not only did you find that and you curated that piece for your home, you also can say that there was something in its history and its past and it made its way to you. So I think that's what was really special about it. And I know it's just a vase, it's nothing special, but I know already that this is going to be a centerpiece item when I do my living room makeover. You are not gonna wanna miss that video. It is coming up really soon on my channel. I have a couple more DIYs to tackle. I have some thrift flips to do too. And so if you don't wanna miss any of that, any of this fun living room content that I'm hyping up and building up to at this point, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss every time I post. And I also have a couple Christmas videos that are gonna be rolling out in between as well. So there's lots of fun, lots of stuff happening here on Actually Ali DIY, and you don't wanna miss it. If you wanna see even more thrifting content, I'll make sure I put some more videos that you may enjoy up on the screen right here. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.